Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika's tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed about arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator and assignment operator. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I will discuss about increment and decrement operator and conditional operator. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me discuss about the increment and decrement operator. First let me discuss about the increment operator. Then we will go for the decrement operator. Okay. First let me discuss about the increment operator. If you understand the increment operator, the decrement operator also work in the same process. The increment operator is broadly classified into two types. One is post increment and second one is the pre increment. Okay, the increment operator is broadly classified into two types. One is post increment and the other one is pre increment. Usually the increment operator will be defined as plus plus. Okay, now what is meant by post increment? You have the variable a. And then you are writing an increment operator, then it is called as a post increment operator. If you are writing the operator first, then you are writing the variable name, then we will call it as a pre increment. So I hope you could able to differentiate between the post increment and pre increment. Now first let me discuss how the post increment will work. Then I will discuss how the pre increment will work and then you will easily able to differentiate between the post increment and pre increment. Let us take that some a value is equal to 5. Okay, You have written a statement called y is equal to a plus plus. Okay, After the writing the statement you want to predict what is the y value, what is the a value. Now we will discuss this one. You have initialized the a value as 5 and you have written a statement called y is equal to a plus plus. After executing the statement, if you want to see what is the y value and what is the a value, we will look at it. This one y is equal to a plus plus. If you split it into two operations, how it will work is that if you look at here, it has two operators. One is the assignment operator and another one is the increment operator. You have two operators. So, as it is a post increment, why I am saying it is a post increment, you have the variable and then you have the increment operator. So it is a post increment. So it will be executed as first it will perform y is equal to a. Then it will perform a plus plus. What is meant by a plus plus? a plus plus is nothing but a is equal to a plus 1. Okay. Now if I split it into two different operations as single operation y is equal to a plus plus. If I am splitting into two operations, this is the way it will be executed. Now look at what is the a value initialized as 5. So y is equal to a, y will get the value as 5 and then you are performing a is equal to a plus 1. Then a value will be 6 and y value will be 5. I hope you have understood. Let me discuss again y is equal to a plus plus as it is a post increment you will have the assignment first y is equal to a then you will perform the increment. So y is equal to a so a value is already 5, so y will get the value 5 and a will get the value 6. Suppose the same thing, you are performing pre-increment. You are writing y is equal to plus plus a. Then what is the y value? What is the a value? Now as it is a pre-increment, okay, first you will perform the increment pre. So first you will perform the increment and then you will assign the statement. So now if you look at here a is equal to a plus 1 meaning is that 5 plus 1. So a value will be updated to 6 and that updated value you are assigning to y. So y also will get the value 6. So I hope with this example you have understood the difference between the post increment and pre increment. Similarly if you want to look at the decrement here you can perform the decrement. Instead of performing addition you will perform the decrement by 1. Is it clear? Now to make you understand in a better way, let me write a single program for post increment and pre increment and you predict or guess what is the output. So that if you guess it correctly, 
then you have understood the post increment and pre increment correctly otherwise again you please watch that video suppose let's take that i am writing a program called hash include stdio.h okay and then you are writing statement called void main okay and then you are writing int a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 you have written a statement called printf percentage d backslash n a plus plus and then you are writing a statement called printf percentage d plus plus b okay and i am writing a get ch okay and i am completing the program now let's see what is this program is doing you have created two variables and initialize them as 5 and 6 which is an integer data type okay now what you are doing here he you are doing here it is a post increment here you are doing a pre increment now can you tell me what is the output it will display as it is a post increment okay a value is 5 so first it will assign then a value will be incremented so first it will assign means it will display the value so 5 will be displayed as an output here whereas here first increment will happen then only assignment will happen so first b value will be updated to 7 and then it will display so here it will display the value 5 here it will display the value 7 i hope you have understood about the post increment and pre increment if i simply modify this one as a decrement operator then can you guess what is the output okay instead of post increment and pre increment i am writing it as a post decrement and pre decrement now as it is a post operation first assignment will happen so assignment will happen means it will display the value so it will display the value 5 here first the decrement will happen then the assignment will happen so here the value will be 5 is it clear so this is the way the post increment and post decrement pre increment and pre decrement will work if you still have any doubt about the increment and decrement operator feel free to ask me in the comment section now i will discuss about the next operator which is a conditional operator okay conditional operator the generalized syntax of a conditional operator is you will have the condition okay you will have the question mark expression 1 expression 2 end with a semicolon this is the generalized syntax of a conditional operator you have a condition you have a question mark expression 1 expression 2 ends with a semicolon in between you will have this symbol okay i hope it is visible for you now what is the way it will work it will work in the same way as if condition is it clear now as there is a condition there will be any one of the outcome whether the condition can be true or the condition can be false if the condition is true if this condition is true then it will execute the statements which are there in this expression one if the condition is false it will execute what are the statements which are there in the expression two are you able to understand any one of them it can happen that either the condition can be true or the condition can be false if the condition is true this expression will be executed if the condition is false this expression will be executed similarly look at this one you have a if condition if the condition is true you will execute the statements which are there in this block else you will execute the statements which are there in this block am i right or wrong the same way i will discuss about if you don't know about the if and else don't worry i will discuss about it separately i want to tell you that you have a condition here the condition can be true or false if the condition is true the statements which are there in this if block will be executed if the condition is false what are the statements which are there in this one will be executed am i right or wrong suppose let's take that you are trying to send a whatsapp to your friend now the whatsapp message will be delivered 
based on whether you have internet or not. If you don't have internet and you are trying to send a message, then the message will not be delivered. So, if you have a internet, then the message will be delivered. If you don't have internet, the message will not be delivered. Am I right? Means it will not start sending from you itself. So, if the condition is true, the statements which are there in this block will be executed. If the condition is false, the statements in this block will be executed. Suppose to make you understand, let me discuss with a simple example. Okay. You are writing a statement called a is equal to 5. Okay. Is it clear? Now you are checking a is equal to is equal to 5 question mark and then you are writing 1 here writing 0 and that entire one you are storing it in a variable b. Is it clear? You have written as this statement. You have written int a is equal to 5. So what is this one is doing? a is an integer variable and similarly let's take that b is also integer variable. Okay. Now you have initialized the value of the variable of v a is 5 and now you are checking whether 5 is equal to 5 or not. You check it whether 5 is equal to 5, yes. If this condition is true, the expression this one will be executed. If the condition is false, this part will be executed. Am I right? This is what the way the conditional operator will work. If this condition is true, this expression will be executed. If the condition is false, this part will be executed. Now look at whether the condition is true or false, 5 is equal to 5. So the condition is true. So you will get the value 1. So that value will be assigned to the variable b. So b is getting the value as 1. If you display the b value, you will get the output as 1. So this is about the conditional operator. So I hope you have understood about the increment and decrement operator and conditional operator. In the next video, I will discuss about the bitwise operator such as bitwise and, bitwise or and bitwise exclusive or left shift, right shift. Okay. Then I will discuss about the special operator such as size of operator and comma operator. So I request everyone to watch my next video to learn about the bitwise operator and special operator. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.